Wash your keys with this water on November 2nd and attract lots of money. Wealth flows not from what you hold, but from how you hold it. Did you know that a simple act, like washing your keys on November 2nd, can open the door to wealth and abundance? Here on the journey of wisdom, I'll show you a powerful ritual to transform your keys into magnets for prosperity. Imagine each time you unlock a door, you're inviting financial security and abundance into your life. This practice is simple, yet incredibly effective. Stay with me to the end, and I'll share extra tips to make it even more powerful. Start now by typing, I am ready to attract abundance in the comments as a first step to set your intentions. This isn't just a comment. It's a signal to the universe that you're open to receiving blessings. Number 1. Ritual for Attracting Prosperity on November 2nd Keys are more than just the metal objects that secure our doors. They're connected deeply to our energies and intentions. Each time you unlock a door, you're not only entering a space, but also strengthening your connection to it, whether it's your home, car, or workplace. This idea of keys as energetic conduits is ancient, woven through many cultures where keys are seen not just as practical tools, but as symbols of access to deeper realms of prosperity, security, and opportunity. In Buddhism, it's often said, the key to happiness lies within. Just as we carry the keys to our physical spaces, we also carry symbolic keys within ourselves, tools to unlock the potential for abundance, calm, and peace in our lives. To bring this concept to life, consider the story of Maria. Like many of us, she viewed keys merely as functional items. But at a difficult point in her life, her outlook shifted after a friend introduced her to the idea that keys could carry energetic weight and be transformed into tools for spiritual alignment. This wasn't just about feng shui or ancient rituals. It was about recognizing that even mundane objects in our lives like keys can be used to shift the flow of our energy and open us to new possibilities. Facing financial challenges and a sense of stagnation, Maria decided to try a cleansing ritual involving her keys, hoping it might help her reset her path. She submerged her keys in a special mixture, holding a sincere intention for abundance and security to enter her life. At first, it seemed simple, perhaps even a bit trivial, but over time, she began to notice changes, new opportunities, financial improvements, and a lightness in her spirit. The experience taught her that sometimes the most powerful shifts come from embracing the potential in what we already have. So how can we too tap into this energy? The first step is to clear any negative energy that may have attached itself to our keys over time. This requires a ritual that uses water, one of nature's oldest purifying elements. Just as water nourishes the earth, it can cleanse and reset our lives. Through many traditions, water has symbolized life and renewal, washing away old energies and inviting new positive vibrations. By using water in this way, you're symbolically rinsing away old blockages and preparing to invite prosperity and peace into your space. Alongside water, we'll add sea salt, which has been revered for centuries for its ability to absorb and neutralize negative energy. This simple ingredient is known to carry a vibrational purity that grounds and stabilizes. Adding a few drops of an essential oil, such as cinnamon, which draws abundance, or rosemary, known for protection and clarity, brings further intention and symbolic strength to the ritual. These oils amplify the energy of the ritual, transforming your keys into a beacon that attracts prosperity and protects your space. Buddhist wisdom reminds us that what we think, we become. Each time you perform this ritual, you're aligning your thoughts and actions with the universe's flow, 
signaling your readiness to unlock opportunities and embrace the abundance that awaits. This practice is not just about belief, it's about presence and awareness. In our fast-paced lives, it's easy to overlook how these small, intentional actions can anchor us and open us to greater things. With every step, from mixing the ingredients to holding your keys with focused intent, you are cultivating a mindset of openness and gratitude. It's a reminder that even the simplest rituals can be deeply transformative. By cleansing your keys, you're also cleansing a part of yourself, setting intentions for prosperity, security and peace in your life. This ritual reminds us that we have the power to create the conditions for growth and harmony with the resources we already have. As you move through life, consider how other ordinary objects might also carry the potential to transform your energy. Whether it's a pen, a favorite chair, or even your morning cup of tea, every object you regularly interact with can hold intention and meaning. Buddhist teachings emphasize mindfulness in the present moment. By bringing awareness to your surroundings and how they affect you, you align with the world's natural rhythm. With each mindful action, like washing your keys, you strengthen your connection to the abundance already surrounding you. So take a moment to carry out this simple ritual using water, sea salt, and a few drops of essential oil. In doing so, you signal to yourself and to the universe that you're ready to embrace a flow of positive energy and prosperity in your life. Remember the words of the Buddha, Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. By tending to our inner and outer worlds with care and intention, we invite peace and abundance to flow more freely into our lives. Number two, complete steps for the ritual to activate key energy. Step one, prepare pure clean water. The first step is to prepare a bowl of clean purified water. Water serves as an essential conductor of energy, so it's crucial that it's pure, free from any impurities or contaminants. You could use filtered water, mineral water, or any source of purified water that you trust. This step is significant because pure water will help cleanse any negative energy that may have accumulated on your keys over time. Our keys, while they may seem like simple everyday objects, actually absorb energy from the environments we bring them into and from the moments we experience. Every time we hold our keys or use them to open doors, they take in a bit of the energy around us, positive or negative. Over time, this accumulated energy can create subtle energetic blockages, sometimes even holding us back from the flow of prosperity and abundance in our lives. Preparing clean water, therefore, is an essential first step in washing away any old or stagnant energy, creating a fresh start ready to receive new, positive energy. As you pour the water into the bowl, keep a calm mind and set an intention, imagining the water carrying a refreshing and vibrant energy. Take a few moments to breathe deeply, centering yourself, and hold a clear purpose in your heart. You are preparing your keys for a new beginning, one where they can serve as conduits for blessings and financial opportunities. You might even want to visualize the water itself as a pure, clear energy that will cleanse and renew the objects it touches. Remember, water is a naturally pure element with the unique ability to conduct and amplify energy. By using purified water in this ritual, we are inviting the energy of renewal and freshness into our lives. In essence, this water is more than just a cleansing agent. It's a vessel for positive transformation, preparing your keys to welcome prosperity. Step 2. Add a pinch of sea salt. Once your purified water is ready, the next step is to add a pinch of sea salt. Sea salt is more than just a seasoning. It's widely recognized for its powerful purifying and cleansing properties. 
Adding sea salt to water is a simple but potent way to neutralize any lingering negative energy that might be attached to your keys. When you add the salt, think of it as a spiritual cleanser that absorbs and dissolves any unwanted energy, paving the way for fresh, positive vibrations. Sea salt is known in many traditions to possess natural properties that cleanse both physically and spiritually. Just as it preserves food, sea salt can protect energy and preserve your intention to create abundance. As you sprinkle the salt into the water, focus on the act with clear intention. Imagine the salt swirling in the water, radiating purity as it mixes and dispersing any energetic blockages that could be affecting your prosperity. Visualize the water becoming even more powerful, as if the salt is charging it with the strength to cleanse and rejuvenate. Take a moment to feel a connection to the salt itself, considering that sea salt comes from the vast flowing ocean, a symbol of life, abundance and flow. By adding it to this ritual, you're inviting a powerful and ancient element of nature to support you in attracting prosperity. Picture the salt's natural energy connecting with the water to form a powerful, purifying solution. Envision this blend as actively removing any stagnant energy, allowing your keys to become a fresh channel for the blessings you desire. Adding sea salt not only cleanses, but also sets an energetic foundation that will carry the intention you're about to instill in your keys. It's a crucial step in clearing the slate so that your keys are free of any limiting influences. This way, they can be charged with only the positive energy you wish to bring into your life. Each time you take this step, Remind yourself that you are inviting a flow of positivity, peace and wealth into your life. Step 3. Add a prosperity attracting essential oil. Now that your water is purified and charged with sea salt, it's time to add a few drops of essential oil to invite prosperity energy. Essential oils such as cinnamon or rosemary are known for their association with abundance, wealth and positive energy. Each drop of oil adds a special essence to the water, enhancing its potency and imbuing it with vibrations that attract financial opportunity and success. Adding essential oils goes beyond fragrance. These oils have been used for centuries in spiritual and ritual practices because of their specific energetic properties. Cinnamon, for instance, is cherished for its ability to attract prosperity, warmth and success. It has an energizing quality that can help ignite the flow of abundance in your life. Rosemary, on the other hand, symbolizes clarity, protection and cleansing, helping to create a secure space for new financial opportunities. Each oil adds a unique layer of purpose to the water transforming it into a powerful, prosperity-attracting solution. As you add a few drops of your chosen essential oil, let your intentions be clear and heartfelt. Visualize the drops hitting the water and dispersing their energy throughout, like ripples extending outward in a lake. Imagine each drop as a concentrated force, preparing your keys to unlock new possibilities, open doors, and invite abundance into your life. Picture the water and salt now infused with the rich, warm energy of the oil, elevating its vibrational frequency and aligning it with your goals of prosperity. Take a few moments to breathe in the scent of the essential oil, allowing its aroma to connect you more deeply to the intention of the ritual. The scent of cinnamon, for instance, has an earthy, spicy warmth that symbolizes richness and wealth, while rosemary brings a fresh, herbal scent that enhances mental clarity and protection. As you inhale, let these scents remind you of your own power to attract good fortune, manifest wealth, and embrace a prosperous life. By adding this oil, you're not only amplifying the cleansing water's energy, but also imbuing it with a purpose. You are essentially programming the water with an intention that it will serve as a medium to energetically charge your keys. 
turning them into tools of opportunity and abundance. This step transforms the ritual from a simple cleansing into a sacred act of manifestation, making your keys ready to unlock not just physical doors, but new chapters of growth, prosperity and abundance in your life. If you could choose one essential oil to add for prosperity, would it be cinnamon for wealth or rosemary for clarity? Comment number one if you'd pick cinnamon or yes if rosemary feels right for you. A point 2.4. Step four, submerge your keys with intention. With the water now infused with the cleansing power of sea salt and the prosperity attracting energy of essential oils, it's time to submerge your keys. This step is where intention really comes into play. You're not just dipping keys into a bowl of water. You're engaging in a mindful, purposeful act of imbuing your keys with energy that aligns with your desires for prosperity, protection and opportunity. Select the keys you use most frequently, whether they're for your home, car or workplace. These are the keys that open significant doors in your life, both physically and symbolically. As you hold these keys over the bowl, take a moment to ground yourself and center your mind. Feel the weight of the keys in your hands, acknowledging their importance in your life. These keys represent not only access to places, but also access to the energy you wish to bring into your life. Now, gently place the keys into the prepared water. As they sink beneath the surface, close your eyes and focus on your intentions. Imagine the water surrounding each key, filling every crevice and soaking through any stagnant or negative energy that might have attached itself over time. Visualize the salt and essential oils working together, dissolving any energetic blockages and replacing them with vibrations of abundance, security and new possibilities. Picture these keys as tools that will help you unlock doors to financial success, stability and protection. See in your mind's eye the keys opening pathways that lead to exciting new opportunities, job offers, promotions, business ideas, or simply a renewed sense of stability and security. Envision each key as a symbol of the potential and power you hold to create a prosperous life for yourself. Imagine that every time you use these keys, you're unlocking doors not only in the physical world, but also in the realm of wealth, success and fulfillment. Leave the keys in the water for at least seven minutes. During this time, try to remain present, breathing slowly and allowing any lingering doubt or negativity to be released. Feel gratitude for the flow of abundance that is already present in your life and welcome even more to come. Each minute that passes, imagine the water's energy seeping deeper into the keys, charging them with the intention you've set. Picture them as small but mighty vessels, carrying the essence of prosperity wherever they go. The act of submerging your keys with intention is a powerful commitment to opening yourself to the flow of abundance. This is your declaration that you're ready to receive the opportunities and blessings that life has to offer. Through this ritual, you're not only cleansing the keys, but transforming them into personal talismans for wealth and protection. By the time they emerge from the water, they'll carry this new purposeful energy with them, ready to unlock doors in both the seen and unseen aspects of your life. Step five, dry and energize the keys. After at least seven minutes have passed, it's time to gently remove your keys from the water. Take them out slowly, one by one, allowing yourself to stay fully present in the moment. Feel a sense of calm and gratitude as you lift them from the bowl, knowing they have been cleansed and recharged with positive, prosperity-focused energy. Prepare a clean, soft cloth to dry each key with care and attention. This step is not just about removing the physical moisture, 
It's an intentional act to seal in the energy and align each key with your purpose. As you hold each key, feel the fresh energy radiating from it. With every gentle wipe, reinforce your intentions in your mind. Think about what each key represents in your life, whether it's your home, car, office, or another space that you value. Imagine each key now carrying a renewed sense of purpose that aligns with your desire for growth, financial abundance, and personal protection. In this simple but powerful act, you're not just drying metal, you're energizing a tool that has the potential to transform your daily life by reminding you of your goals and the doors you're determined to open. Visualize each key as a beacon of positivity and opportunity, charged with a vibrant energy that you can feel resonating from it. Imagine that every time you use these keys in the future, they'll emit a subtle wave of positive energy that connects with the spaces they unlock. See them as tools that are no longer ordinary, but extraordinary, charged with intention and ready to support you in manifesting prosperity. Envision the doors they open as gateways to new opportunities, financial breakthroughs, and moments of personal growth. As you continue drying, feel the transformative power of this ritual. Each key, now fully charged and cleansed, holds a purpose beyond its physical function. Picture them helping you step confidently into a new phase of life filled with prosperity and security. This act of energizing the keys completes the cycle of the ritual, locking in the intention and setting the stage for the abundance and protection you seek. Once dry, hold the keys in your hands for a moment longer, recognizing them as symbols of your commitment to a prosperous future. You've taken the time and care to make these everyday objects into powerful symbols, ready to help you unlock not only literal doors, but also opportunities that align with your highest goals. Each time you pick them up from now on, let them serve as reminders of the intentions you've set and the path to growth and success that you're welcoming into your life. This simple act of drying and energizing your keys is the final touch that seals the ritual, transforming your keys into meaningful talismans that carry forward the energy of abundance. Step six, seal the ritual with a final affirmation. With your keys now fully cleansed and charged, it's time to seal the ritual by speaking a powerful affirmation. This final step serves to anchor the energy and intentions you've infused into the keys, confirming your commitment to attracting abundance and prosperity. Holding the keys in your hands, close your eyes, and focus on the affirmation that will seal this process. This is the moment to clearly declare your intent, reinforcing all the energy that you've built throughout the ritual. Take a slow, deep breath, and as you exhale, say the following affirmation with clarity and conviction. Every door I open with these keys brings me closer to abundance and prosperity. Allow the words to resonate deeply feeling each one as it strengthens the energy you've just created. The power of spoken words is profound. They shape intentions and transform them into reality. By saying this aloud, you're affirming that these keys will now act as symbols of the prosperity and protection you seek. This affirmation is more than a closing phrase. It is a statement that empowers your actions. Each time you pick up these keys or use them to open a door, you will remember the ritual and be reminded of your commitment to growth and opportunity. The affirmation is like a mental anchor that connects you back to the intentions you set during the ritual, keeping your focus on the positive energy you wish to attract. As you speak these words, let go of any hesitation or doubt trusting that your intentions have been received and are already taking shape. Picture yourself embracing new opportunities and financial growth, knowing that you are deserving of these blessings. 
Each time you use your keys, this affirmation will subtly remind you of the abundance you are open to receiving, reinforcing a mindset of prosperity in your everyday life. With this final affirmation, the ritual is complete. You've set your intentions, cleansed and energized your keys, and grounded the ritual with words of purpose. Now, as you carry your keys, they will not only serve their usual function, but also remind you of your journey toward a prosperous and fulfilling future. Let this affirmation guide you as you walk through each door with confidence, knowing that you've taken a meaningful step toward the life you envision. Number three, additional tips to maximize the ritual's results. One, use daily affirmations. Each time you reach for your keys, let it be a moment of mindfulness, a chance to remind yourself of the possibilities that lie ahead. As you unlock a door, consider saying an affirmation like, every door I open brings me closer to prosperity. This simple phrase can become a source of motivation and a pathway to shift your mindset. This small daily ritual doesn't just focus your energy, but also invites the intention of abundance into every action you take. The philosopher Lao Tzu once said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, or I am aligned with abundance and success, reminding us that even the simplest acts, when performed with intention, can lead to profound results. Just as keys serve as tools to open physical doors, your affirmations are the spiritual keys that unlock doors of potential in your life. In the same way that Buddhists value the power of positive intention and the clarity of the present moment, this practice can be a means to direct your focus toward abundance. Consistency in these affirmations brings with it a kind of magic, weaving belief into your daily life and opening up new opportunities with a grounded heart. In today's world, where stress and worries often cloud our focus, this ritual of speaking positive affirmations each time you use your keys can act as a gentle reminder to stay rooted in optimism and purpose, uplifting you in small yet meaningful ways. Embrace this habit not as a mere routine, but as a mindful action that fills each day with promise. Through these small steps, each door you open will lead not just into rooms, but into realms of personal growth and wealth. This is not about forcing change, but about aligning with it. Letting the energy you generate through each affirmation draw prosperity toward you naturally. When you choose to make your key a symbol of intention, it transforms from a simple object to a companion on your journey to fulfillment. After all, as the Buddha taught, what we think, we become, and in the act of believing that prosperity awaits, you invite it closer. Let each turn of the key become a step forward, a gentle nudge from the universe telling you that what you seek is already on its way, ready to meet you at the next door you open. If you've watched up to this point, you're already tapping into the power of attracting wealth with this unique ritual. Comment below with Abundance Awaits to affirm your commitment to this practice. Don't leave just yet. There are still powerful insights waiting for you that can bring prosperity into your life. Stay until the end to discover all the secrets to unlocking financial abundance. 2. Use the power of daily visualization. Every time you hold your keys, recognize them as symbols of opportunity and access, not only to physical spaces, but to the limitless potential of your life. Think of each time you unlock a door as an act of opening up to new possibilities, greater abundance, and a deep sense of security that you are manifesting in your life. Before you insert your key, pause for a moment, breathe deeply, and visualize the doors in your life that you're opening, those that lead to wealth, prosperity, and fulfilling opportunities. 
Visualize each door you unlock as bringing you one step closer to the life you envision, to the goals you're passionately working towards. Picture these doors as pathways to peace, financial success, or the nurturing relationships you desire. Feel how the power to access them lies right in your hands. This small daily act of visualization serves as a powerful reminder to the universe of your intention, gently yet consistently aligning your energy with your aspirations. The simple act of pausing to visualize sends ripples into the universe, creating alignment between your inner world and the outer reality you are working to bring forth. As you visualize, Truly immerse yourself in the experience of having what you seek. Imagine the joy of financial security, the freedom of opportunities, and the stability that comes with true abundance. What would it feel like to live in this world you're creating? The more vividly you can sense it, the more powerfully you attract it. Consider the doors you open daily the actual doors in your life and those metaphorical ones representing new experiences, lessons and connections. Each time you unlock one, ask yourself, what am I inviting into my life today? Let this question open your mind to the possibilities around you as it is in these moments that clarity and intention meet action. In the words of Rumi, what you seek is seeking you. When you let your intentions be clear and rooted in your actions, the universe responds, drawing those very opportunities toward you. Imagine each door you open as an invitation to something better, something aligned with your highest self. This daily ritual may seem simple, but it builds a powerful habit of mindfulness and intention, both of which are the very heart of manifestation. As you hold your keys today, think of them not as ordinary objects, but as tools that empower you to create your future. How will you use this moment to visualize, to believe, and to invite the positive changes you desire? By embracing this small daily ritual, you are affirming your trust in the universe's response, in your power to manifest what you seek, and in the infinite possibilities that await with each new door you unlock. 3. Keep an open mind and heart To maximize the results of this ritual on November 2nd, as you wash your keys with special water, keep an open mind and heart, as these are essential qualities for attracting abundance. This practice serves as a symbolic tool, but true manifestation power lies within you. It's not merely about performing a ritual, it's about deeply understanding and harnessing your own intentions. When you focus your mind clearly and act with consistency, you align with the natural flow of prosperity, creating space for opportunities to come into your life. By nurturing your thoughts with clarity and positivity, you shape your path toward abundance. Setting this intention with your keys, which symbolize entry and access, extends beyond just wealth. It's an invitation to unlock new avenues for growth, well-being and success in every area of life. As you perform this ritual, stay attuned to the world around you, knowing that the universe often speaks in whispers. Opportunities may come in unexpected forms, a conversation with a friend, a chance encounter or a new idea that sparks during a quiet moment. With an open heart and mind, you become receptive to these signs, allowing them to guide you without resistance. Many people miss out on these cues because they expect prosperity to arrive in a specific way, overlooking the blessings that come disguised in ordinary moments. By staying mindful and open, you take each step with awareness, recognizing that every small sign, every subtle shift, is a step toward the fulfillment of your intentions. This ritual encourages us to engage with our daily lives actively, with curiosity and openness, moving away from rigid beliefs and expectations. Sometimes the paths we envision for ourselves are narrow, limiting the ways abundance can find us. 
Practicing openness means being flexible, ready to embrace whatever comes, and trusting that life has a way of delivering exactly what we need when we need it. By letting go of preconceived notions and judgments, you become like water, adapting to the shape of whatever vessel life offers you. In Zen teachings, there's a saying, empty your cup so it may be filled, become devoid to gain totality. Holding on to rigid expectations fills our minds with ideas of how things should be, leaving little room for what could be. When we release these constraints, we become more capable of receiving. In today's world, we often get swept up in the hustle for financial success, fixated on specific outcomes and timelines. But true prosperity is holistic. It's about creating balance and opening ourselves to wealth, not only in terms of money, but also in opportunities, health, relationships, and personal growth. This ritual, while appearing simple, is a reminder to bring this broader sense of prosperity into our lives. Each time you engage with this process, feel the gratitude of what you already have and set a fresh intention for what you seek. When we cultivate a mindset of appreciation, we magnetize ourselves for more blessings to flow in. As the Dalai Lama said, when you practice gratefulness, there is a sense of respect toward others. This respect extends to the energy around us, inviting more positive forces to support our goals. Remember, this is not about a quick fix or magic solution. Rather, it's a journey of self-discovery and alignment. Money and success are byproducts of a life lived with purpose and awareness. By washing your keys with mindful intention, you're not just symbolically cleansing negativity, you're also inviting a fresh start, a clean slate upon which you can write new goals and dreams. In Buddhism, there's a principle known as right intention, one of the steps on the Noble Eightfold Path. This teaching guides us to set intentions that lead to beneficial outcomes, not only for ourselves, but also for others. As you pursue your path to prosperity, remember that abundance, when shared, multiplies. When you do good, the energy returns to you in many forms, often in ways you least expect. So, as you approach this November ritual, let go of doubts, embrace faith in the process, and hold your intentions lightly yet firmly. The world has a way of responding to those who carry hope and conviction with grace, much like the lotus flower that rises beautifully from muddy waters. Be patient, trust the timing, and know that by aligning your heart, mind, and actions, you're not only opening doors for wealth, but also fostering a mindset that will continue to attract blessings well beyond this single day. This mindset is your true key. Carry it with gratitude, clarity, and an unwavering belief in the endless possibilities that await. 4. Journal or write down your affirmations. To maximize the impact of your prosperity ritual, make journaling a central part of the process. Writing down your financial goals and specific desires solidifies your intentions in a powerful way creating a bridge between thought and reality. In Buddhist practice, this act of mindful intention setting is akin to planting seeds in fertile soil. When we write, we engage more deeply with our desires, clarifying them and focusing our minds on what truly matters. As Thich Nhat Hanh wisely said, our own life is the instrument with which we experiment with truth. Writing down our desires becomes an experiment in manifesting truth, where we observe the path between intention and outcome. This process isn't just about material goals, it's a reflection on what wealth and abundance mean to us on a deeper level. When you write your goals, whether it's financial security, freedom from debt, or the ability to provide for loved ones, explore the why behind each goal, why do these things matter? What value will they bring to your life and the lives of those around you? 
Journaling in this way transforms the ritual into a deeper journey of self-understanding and growth. As you write, let the energy of gratitude and compassion flow. Be grateful not only for what you wish to receive, but for the ability to envision a better life. In doing so, you reinforce positive intentions that align with a sense of contentment. Buddhists teach that our attachments can cloud our path to peace. Thus, while setting your goals, focus on the journey of abundance rather than just the end result. Writing is a way to release attachment to the outcome, as it provides clarity and acceptance that what is meant for you will come in the right form and time. Moreover, journaling these affirmations repeatedly builds consistency in your thoughts. Just as a river cuts through rock with constant flow, consistent focus on our intentions gradually shapes our reality. The act of writing daily becomes a gentle reminder to stay open and receptive to opportunities, even those you might not initially recognize. This mindset attracts prosperity, not only because of focused intention, but also by creating awareness of possibilities around you. Your thoughts, put into words on the page, become a fertile ground for manifesting the life you desire. In modern life, where distractions are constant, journaling provides a moment of calm and intention, giving you a clear sense of direction. Set aside a few quiet moments each day, perhaps in the early morning or before bed, to pen down your affirmations. Writing before bed can be particularly powerful as it helps set a tone for your subconscious mind to work on your desires as you sleep. Think of each written affirmation as a gentle ripple, spreading out to touch everything in its path. In time, these ripples bring back waves of what you seek, connecting your intentions to the vast web of existence. By committing your goals to paper, you give yourself the gift of clarity and focus, bringing both motivation and patience to the path of prosperity. Keep this journal sacred, revisit your affirmations and nurture them with faith. Just as a tree grows slowly, your intentions may take time to bloom, but they will yield fruit in due season. Through this practice, you'll find that the ritual becomes not just a means to an end, but a source of inner peace and purpose. If you're still watching, you're already committed to welcoming wealth into your life with this simple water ritual. Comment Abundant Life below to set your intention for prosperity. Don't leave just yet. There's more to learn in this video that could change your financial future. Stay until the end to uncover the final steps to attract wealth and success. 5. Build trust in the ritual. Trust forms the foundation of any ritual's effectiveness, especially one aimed at enhancing prosperity. Think of belief as the fuel that ignites a connection between your intentions and the universe's abundant energy. When we invest genuine faith in a practice, we bridge the gap between what is and what could be, inviting potential into our lives. The famous Buddhist teacher Thich Nhat Hanh once said, with a deep enough belief, you can manifest what you need. This understanding is not about clinging to wishful thinking, but rather about opening yourself to possibilities. When you allow yourself to trust fully, you step into a flow of energy that is already all around us. Belief in this context acts like a key, unlocking the door to these opportunities. As you prepare to wash your keys in water on November 2nd, don't just go through the motions. Embrace it with sincere faith, knowing that the universe responds to those who believe in the process. Just as a farmer plants seeds in faith, trusting they will grow with the right conditions, your trust in this ritual can be that fertile soil. If there is doubt in your heart, it becomes like a shadow that blocks the light of prosperity. So, why does belief matter so deeply in these types of rituals? Belief channels your energy and aligns it with your intentions, creating a unified focus. 
Think of the ritual as both a practical action and a symbolic one. As you engage in it, it reminds you that you have the power to influence your path. Much like placing a stake in the ground to mark your direction, this ritual becomes a way to reaffirm your commitment to wealth and abundance. In the context of modern life, where skepticism often overshadows faith, allowing yourself to believe might feel like a stretch. Yet belief doesn't mean ignoring reality, it means opening yourself up to something beyond your current limitations. There's a reason many successful individuals hold rituals, routines or practices that nurture their mindset. They understand the subtle but profound power of a dedicated practice infused with trust. Instead of seeing the ritual as something outside of you, view it as an extension of your inner aspirations. Just as water has the power to cleanse, belief has the power to purify doubts and anxieties. The act of washing your keys is symbolic, reminding you of the new energy and prosperity you wish to invite into your life. Cultivating trust requires patience and openness, so approach this ritual with calm and clarity, free of overthinking or self-doubt. Many people today find it hard to believe in such things, feeling pressured by a world focused on tangible outcomes. However, belief in something intangible doesn't mean it lacks value. Often, it's the unseen forces, like a positive mindset or a sense of purpose, that play the most significant role in our lives. Your mindset is like fertile ground, and by choosing to trust in this ritual, you are planting seeds that can grow into prosperity. With every action, from preparing the water to mindfully washing the keys, let your belief fill each step with purpose. Through this act of faith, you're telling the universe you're ready for abundance. In trusting this process, you align with ancient wisdom that has guided people toward fulfillment for centuries. The ritual then becomes more than just an act. It's a statement of intent and trust. The journey of trusting in rituals is not about immediate rewards, but about opening yourself to the flow of abundance and recognizing that, like all good things, prosperity grows from a foundation of deep, genuine belief. 6. Be grateful for every opportunity that arises. Every opportunity that crosses your path, whether grand or humble, is a gift worth cherishing, and in acknowledging it, you open doors to even more possibilities. When you pause to appreciate what life offers, you cultivate an inner space where abundance can flourish, allowing you to receive each experience with an open heart. Gratitude is not merely a polite response or a passing feeling, it is a transformative force. It has the unique power to reshape how you view life, transforming even the smallest chance encounter or unexpected challenge into a moment filled with meaning and potential. As Buddha once taught, let us rise up and be thankful, for if we didn't learn a lot today, at least we learned a little. And if we didn't learn a little, at least we didn't get sick. And if we got sick, at least we didn't die. So, let us all be thankful. This wisdom reminds us that there is something precious to be found in each experience, regardless of its outcome. In practicing gratitude, you are not simply being thankful for an event or gift itself, but embracing the larger rhythm of life. Understanding that each moment, each opportunity, carries within it a chance for growth, a chance to connect, and a chance to make a difference. When you express gratitude for even the most minor experiences, like a smile from a stranger or a moment of peace, you reinforce a mindset of positivity and presence. This approach not only brings a sense of peace, but subtly attracts more opportunities and good fortune to you because, as the law of attraction suggests, the energy we put out into the world tends to come back to us. Ask yourself, how often do you pause to be genuinely grateful for the small moments that enrich your day? How might your life feel 
if you looked at each encounter as a chance to deepen your sense of gratitude. By doing so, you begin to see that every experience, even those that appear trivial or challenging, can serve as a stepping stone towards something greater. Gratitude has a ripple effect extending beyond your own life. When you appreciate the gifts you receive, you naturally want to share that positive energy, spreading warmth and kindness to others, creating a community grounded in generosity and joy. Imagine a world where everyone took a moment to acknowledge each kindness, each opportunity. How might that change our interactions, our relationships, and the ways we support one another? Cultivating gratitude encourages us to live more mindfully, aware that every opportunity holds within it the seeds of change and potential for joy. As you walk through life, let gratitude be a silent prayer in your heart, a gentle reminder that life itself is a precious opportunity to be embraced. In this way, your practice of gratitude becomes a ritual, a continuous invitation for positivity, growth, and good fortune to come into your life. So next time you find an opportunity, however small, ask yourself, what lesson, joy, or connection does this moment offer? By honoring each opportunity with gratitude, you set yourself on a path of boundless potential enriching not only your own life, but the lives of everyone around you. 7. Combine with meditation or mindful breathing. To enhance the energy and intention of this ritual, consider incorporating the power of meditation or mindful breathing into your practice. When we take a few moments to center ourselves through breath or gentle meditation, we begin to calm the noise of our minds and create space for clarity and purpose. This deep focus connects us to the greater energy that surrounds us, the same energy that flows through every part of nature and connects all beings. By aligning ourselves with this universal energy, we can amplify our intentions and invite abundance more effectively into our lives. Think about it this way. Just as clear water reflects the sky above, a calm mind reflects our truest desires and intentions, making them easier to manifest. When we calm our thoughts, we cultivate a fertile ground within us, ready to receive blessings and abundance. So, before you perform any step of this ritual, start with a few deep breaths. Inhale slowly, feeling the breath fill your lungs and release any stress or tension as you exhale. This simple practice grounds you in the present, preparing you to approach each part of the ritual with an open heart and a clear mind. You might even ask yourself, what are my true desires? What do I seek to invite into my life? And how will this abundance serve not only me, but those around me? Asking these questions helps you tap into a greater sense of purpose, guiding your intentions with wisdom and compassion as you wash your keys on November 2nd with this special water, let each movement reflect your focused intention to welcome prosperity and new opportunities. Feel gratitude for the abundance that already surrounds you, trusting that, as you align yourself with these practices, you are welcoming even more positivity into your life. And remember, mindfulness doesn't need to be complex. Even the smallest moment of intention can create a ripple effect. Thich Nhat Han wisely said, Smile, breathe, and go slowly. By taking each step mindfully, you create space for grace and invite good fortune to enter your life in its own perfect timing. So, as you take these mindful breaths and embrace this ritual, think about the energy you're calling in and how it might transform not only your life, but the lives of those around you. How would it feel to fully embrace this moment, to allow your actions to be a gift to yourself and to the world? Reflect on these questions as you go through each step, feeling gratitude for the present and openness toward the future. Thank you for being here with us today. Before we dive into the next segment, 
I just want to take a moment to appreciate you. It's wonderful to have you as part of our community and your presence truly means a lot. Feel free to share your thoughts or experiences in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new, simply comment Prosperity Seeker or if you've been around for a while, write Wealth Builder. Your engagement inspires us and keeps this journey going strong. All right, let's keep moving forward together. The Buddhist perspective on manifestation and prosperity, detachment and intention. From a Buddhist perspective, manifestation and prosperity aren't inherently problematic, but instead are seen through the lenses of intention and detachment. While Buddhism doesn't promote the outright pursuit of wealth as an end goal, it recognizes that prosperity can arise naturally as a result of wholesome actions, wise choices, and ethical behavior. The key lies in our relationship to wealth and material goals, rather than in the pursuit itself. 1. Detachment from Outcomes In Buddhism, the concept of detachment from outcomes is central to cultivating a balanced approach to life and prosperity. While it's entirely natural to have aspirations and work toward them, the Buddha reminds us that clinging to the fruits of our desires, whether that's wealth, recognition or success, ultimately leads to suffering. This suffering arises from the nature of desires. They are often insatiable, like a thirst that cannot be fully quenched. The more we achieve, the more we want creating a cycle that distances us from true contentment. From a Buddhist perspective, prosperity is not something to reject, but it should be approached with a sense of inner freedom. When we pursue goals with detachment, we understand that while material gains can bring comfort and convenience, they don't define our intrinsic worth or lead to lasting happiness. The Buddha once said, your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own unguarded thoughts, highlighting how attachment to outcomes can imprison us in a cycle of dissatisfaction. Instead, setting intentions for prosperity should be rooted in values like generosity, compassion and wisdom, creating a foundation where wealth serves a purpose beyond mere accumulation. In practice, this approach calls for aligning our intentions with something greater than personal gain, embedding them within values that uplift others and contribute to a larger good. When our aim for prosperity is grounded in the desire to contribute, share and support, it brings a sense of fulfillment that goes beyond material success. For instance, consider how generosity Giving without expecting anything in return transforms our relationship with wealth. By helping others and uplifting our communities, we find that our own lives become richer in unexpected ways. In a modern context, this might mean setting career or financial goals, not just to amass wealth, but to create opportunities, foster growth and positively impact others. As you progress toward your goals, Focus on the journey, on the skills you develop, the discipline you cultivate, and the resilience you build along the way. Each step in this process offers growth and insight, helping you realize that true prosperity includes not only material abundance, but also inner peace. Buddhism teaches that life is transient, and so are the successes and setbacks we encounter. Recognizing this impermanence helps us loosen our grip on fixed outcomes and appreciate the beauty in each moment of effort, no matter where it leads. As the Taoist saying goes, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Each step forward is valuable in itself, adding to our experience and wisdom, which are far more enduring than material gains. Practicing detachment doesn't mean giving up ambition or goals. It means pursuing them with a lightness of spirit, unburdened by the pressure of outcomes. In this way, detachment and intention complement each other. 
offering a path to prosperity that honors both our aspirations and our peace of mind. 2. Mindful Intention In Buddhism, intention or setana is the core of our actions, the invisible force that shapes the karmic path we walk. Have you ever wondered why two people working towards similar goals may experience such different outcomes? Buddhism suggests that our intentions, why we do what we do, are what ultimately define the karmic effects of our actions, especially when it comes to prosperity. When we seek wealth or success, if we do so with a pure heart and a selfless mind, aiming to bring about security, support loved ones, or uplift our communities, the results become a part of our spiritual growth. The Buddha taught, with our thoughts we make the world, meaning that if we cultivate intentions rooted in compassion and kindness, the energy we put forth can lead to prosperity that nourishes our well-being and that of others. On the other hand, if our intentions are clouded by greed, ego, or a desire to dominate, any wealth we gain from those motives can bring suffering, not just for others, but for ourselves too, as such gains are linked to negative karmic consequences. So how do we align our intentions with our desire for prosperity in a way that enriches us spiritually? Begin with mindfulness, an honest look within to understand your true motivations. Take a moment even now and ask yourself, why do you want to be prosperous? Is it to create security, offer comfort to your family, or perhaps extend a helping hand to those in need? By examining our intentions regularly, we begin to purify them, shifting away from desires that serve only the ego and moving toward goals that benefit everyone. Reflecting on intention is not a one-time action, it's a consistent practice, a way of life. Every time you think of manifesting wealth, pause to consider whether your desire springs from compassion, generosity or self-interest. If you find traces of ego, perhaps the wish to prove yourself to others or to seek validation, gently acknowledge it and reframe your intentions so that they align with a higher purpose. Mindful intention is also about flexibility and openness, allowing your motivations to evolve as you grow spiritually. Instead of focusing solely on the material outcomes, think about the impact you hope to have with your prosperity. Imagine yourself as a channel for good. How would your success uplift others? Could you contribute to causes that resonate with your values or help support those who need it most? When we set our sights on prosperity with this level of awareness, our pursuit itself becomes a form of practice, part of our journey to greater compassion and understanding. The Buddha said, just as a candle cannot burn without fire, Men cannot live without a spiritual life. In other words, prosperity without mindful intention is empty. Yet with the right intention, every action, even seeking wealth, can become an expression of our spirituality. So consider this. What does prosperity mean to you when approached from a Buddhist perspective? Could your desire for success transform into a journey of generosity and compassion? When you align your intentions with these values, not only do you pave the way for positive karma, but you also create a path toward a form of prosperity that is deeply fulfilling, one that enriches both your life and the lives of others. By making mindful intention your guiding principle, you're not just manifesting material wealth, you're cultivating a wealth of spirit that supports a meaningful, balanced life. And isn't that the truest form of prosperity? 3. Manifestation as Right Effort In the Buddhist perspective, the principle of manifestation is deeply tied to the concept of right effort, a core element of the Noble Eightfold Path. Right effort emphasizes the importance of directing our energy toward fostering positive qualities within ourselves and carefully letting go of those tendencies that lead to suffering and negativity. 
Manifestation in this sense is not about magically pulling wealth or success toward us through wishful thinking. Rather, it is a path of gradual, intentional cultivation. Prosperity, from the Buddhist standpoint, is seen not as an end to be achieved, but as a natural outcome of aligning one's actions with sincere and wholesome intentions. When we focus on enhancing our skills, nurturing supportive relationships, and engaging in ethical actions, we're setting the foundation for success to grow over time in a way that serves both ourselves and the greater community. Applying right effort in daily life means setting clear, realistic goals that reflect our true values and strengths. It's not enough to chase after success for its own sake. Instead, we must consider the quality of our intentions and the impact of our actions. When our goals align with values like integrity, compassion and respect, the effort we put in becomes a form of meditation in action, a dedicated practice toward creating conditions conducive to authentic fulfillment. In modern life, where the temptation to shortcut the path to prosperity is strong, right effort calls us to trust the process of steady growth and self-improvement. Each action we take, however small, brings us closer to a deeper, more sustained sense of abundance. Moreover, manifestation through right effort encourages us to build relationships that support and uplift us. Surrounding ourselves with people who share our values and encourage our growth is essential in this journey. These connections aren't just there to help us reach personal goals, but also to nurture a sense of shared purpose and well-being. When we engage in ethical work, work that brings value to others, respects our own needs, and honors the community, we plant seeds that grow into prosperity that benefits all. Buddhist teachings often remind us that wealth gained by causing harm or driven by greed ultimately leads to suffering. Thus, when we commit to mindful, ethical actions, we create prosperity that is not only sustainable but also enriching on a deeper level. In today's world, where speed and competition often overshadow mindfulness and patience, the Buddhist path of manifestation offers a refreshing reminder. True prosperity grows out of deliberate, value-driven effort. As we refine our abilities, stay resilient in the face of challenges and cultivate genuine relationships, we shape an environment where success can flourish naturally. In this way, manifestation becomes a balanced process of intention and action, where each step reflects a commitment to inner growth and outer harmony, creating a lasting foundation for prosperity in its most meaningful form. If you've watched this far, you're already on the journey to understanding how manifestation and prosperity align with Buddhist principles. Comment below with Prosperous Path to affirm your commitment to mindful wealth and intention. Don't go anywhere. There are still valuable insights to come that will deepen your understanding of detachment and abundance. Stay until the end to uncover the timeless wisdom that can transform your approach to prosperity. 4. Generosity as an expression of abundance. Generosity, known as dana in Buddhist philosophy, represents a profound way of engaging with abundance. In Buddhism, true prosperity gains meaning only when it is shared, benefiting not just ourselves, but those around us. The practice of giving, therefore, is a powerful act of manifestation. By offering to others, we affirm our sense of having enough. This acknowledgement is not merely a mental state. It's an open-hearted relationship with wealth that loosens our grip on possessions, enabling us to experience freedom rather than attachment. When we give freely, whether it's in the form of money, time, skills, or simply a listening ear, we participate in a cycle of abundance that transcends material limits. The beauty of generosity lies in its flexibility. It doesn't always demand financial means. Instead, 
it encourages us to share what we uniquely have, cultivating joy in both ourselves and those we touch. This aligns with the words of the Buddha. Thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Embracing generosity in both prosperous and challenging times requires cultivating a mindset that values giving as an expression of our inner wealth rather than as a depletion of resources. This shift allows us to approach prosperity not as a possession to guard, but as a river to flow through our lives, enriching not just ourselves, but also our communities. When we give without expectation, we dismantle the walls that separate us from others, dissolving the illusion of scarcity and inviting an experience of wholeness and connection. It's easy, especially in a society that equates success with accumulation, to view generosity as a transaction or as something that must wait until we have more. However, as Buddhism teaches, wealth does not lie solely in the quantity of what we have, but in the spirit with which we offer it. Even in difficult times, small acts of kindness build a reservoir of inner richness that supports resilience and gratitude. Consider how the modern world, often driven by self-interest and competition, can benefit from a renewed focus on generosity. Sharing what we have, be it skills, encouragement, or simply time, creates bonds of trust and cooperation that ultimately lead to deeper, more meaningful forms of success. Prosperity, then, becomes less about personal gain and more about collective upliftment. Each time we share, we reaffirm that true wealth is not diminished by giving but grows in impact. The act of generosity, when performed with sincerity and without attachment, converts wealth into joy rather than burden, freeing us from the compulsion to cling tightly to possessions. In practical terms, begin by noticing opportunities to give in ways that feel genuine to you. Share your knowledge with a colleague, offer words of support to a friend, or volunteer your time to a cause you care about. These actions embody a spirit of abundance, affirming that what we offer, however small, contributes to the greater good. As Lao Tzu once said, the wise man does not lay up his own treasures. The more he gives to others, the more he has for his own. Through generosity, we engage with the world in a way that manifests prosperity for ourselves and others, transforming wealth into a wellspring of happiness and harmony. 5. Equanimity and non-attachment to wealth. Wealth, in the Buddhist perspective, is a double-edged sword. It can bring pleasure and comfort, but also lead to suffering if we cling to it. Buddhism teaches us through the concept of upekka, or equanimity, that true contentment does not depend on the accumulation of material goods, but rather on cultivating inner peace and stability within ourselves. Equanimity is a state of balance and non-reactivity that allows us to engage with prosperity in a way that doesn't create dependency or attachment. Instead of allowing wealth to define our self-worth or happiness, equanimity guides us to see wealth as something that can be used and enjoyed, yet never owned by us. As the Buddha said, health is the greatest gift, contentment the greatest wealth, faithfulness the best relationship. By internalizing this perspective, we shift from viewing prosperity as a source of personal identity to a transient experience that can be used for the benefit of ourselves and others. When we approach wealth with this kind of detachment, we free ourselves from the cycle of desire and fear that often accompanies material abundance, the desire for more and the fear of losing what we have. Non-attachment doesn't mean that we reject wealth or feel guilty for enjoying it, but rather that we hold it with an open hand, knowing that everything in life, including wealth, is impermanent. With this mindset, we can enjoy the comfort and opportunities wealth provides without letting it control our emotions or decisions. 
Instead of hoarding or obsessing over material possessions, we find a sense of freedom in our relationship to wealth. How might your life change if you could embrace wealth without grasping at it? Could you find joy in abundance without the fear of scarcity? These questions invite us to reflect on our relationship with prosperity and consider a more balanced, liberating approach. Practicing equanimity is not just a mental exercise, it's a way of life that can be cultivated through daily actions. One practical approach is to reflect on the impermanence of all things, especially material success. Acknowledging that prosperity can come and go like the seasons can help us maintain a humble perspective and avoid becoming overly attached to status or possessions. Another powerful practice is generosity. By giving freely to others, whether through donations, sharing resources or acts of kindness, we express a sense of abundance that transcends attachment. When we give, we're reminded that wealth is most meaningful when shared, and this practice of giving fosters a mindset of sufficiency and gratitude. The Dalai Lama once said, Generosity is the most natural outward expression of an inner attitude of compassion and loving-kindness. Through giving, we transform our relationship with wealth from one of possession to one of compassion and service. Ultimately, when we embrace wealth with equanimity, we step into a freedom that is not defined by what we have, but by who we are. We develop a resilience that can carry us through life's ups and downs, grounded in a stable and peaceful inner world that remains unaffected by external gains or losses. Reflecting on the impermanence of wealth and practicing generosity as a form of detachment leads us to a deeper, more fulfilling understanding of prosperity. Instead of asking, how much can I acquire? Perhaps a more meaningful question might be, how can I use what I have to bring joy and peace to others and myself? When we shift our focus in this way, we move closer to a life of genuine contentment, grounded not in the temporary security of wealth, but in the lasting peace of a generous and balanced heart. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has inspired you to try this simple yet powerful ritual on November 2nd to attract more abundance into your life. Remember, each mindful step we take even something as simple as washing our keys opens doors to new opportunities and prosperity. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with those who might benefit, and subscribe to The Journey of Wisdom. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss our upcoming insights and guidance. Together, let's continue this journey of growth and wisdom. Thank you and may your path be filled with peace, abundance and well-being.